Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Nick Livingston here. I'm a designer on MLB The Show, and I'm going to talk to you about the improvements to Diamond Dynasty in MLB 13. So Diamond Dynasty is a mode that juggles aspects of team management, player progression, and a lot of online competition with tons of creative freedom. Basically, you create your team from scratch, everything about that team. You can customize anything from their location, their name, colors, personalize very specific logos. Once you've created this team, you get two different types of cards. You got MLB cards and you got Dynasty cards. MLB cards, which are just players the way you would see them in the game. Dynasty cards are completely customizable. You can rename them change their accessories and their batting stances, and most importantly, you can train them. So they start out not being amazing, but if you invest the time in training them and developing these players, they will be very powerful. So getting into some of the improvements that we want to talk about. First off, one of the biggest or most impactful changes that we made this year was just the general balance of the mode. Dynasty cards now have maximum values on their attributes. so. Not every card is going to be able to be a 99. Now some of them will be. A lot of the better cards, you know, you will be able to reach those 99 thresholds, but not on the, the bad cards or even the mediocre cards. Those players are going to be more realistic. You're going to have to train them and they're going to end up looking like realistic baseball players. One of my biggest complaints, and people complained about it online too, is that a pitcher card would just say, a pitcher. If you needed a starting pitcher, you'd have to activate a pitcher card and just hope it was a starting pitcher and you'd have to keep doing that. Well, pitcher cards have roles now, so you can tell on the card if it's a starting pitcher, a relieving pitcher, or a closer, and now you can fill those slots easily. People quit a lot last year. I mean, people are gonna quit a lot this year too. The problem was, really, Someone who quit on you kind of hurt you, so your awards would be impacted in your stats. This year, everything is done on a per inning basis, so if someone quits on you, it's not gonna penalize you. So in closing, I just wanted to let you guys know of a lot of the things we've changed just briefly. So first off, across the board, general improvements to navigating Diamond Dynasty as a mode, just from screen to screen and things like that. Secondly, I think that you're going to find that the marketplace is easier to use, it's faster, and it's going to be fair. And lastly, there's been a lot of changes in gameplay itself with online in mind, things like bunting, stealing, and guest pitch, so keep an eye out for more information on that. So hey guys, thanks for listening, thanks for your feedback. And I think you're going to be really pumped about the changes in Diamond Dynasty this year. Don't forget, go pre-order MLB 13, the show, right now. Go! PlayStation.